Hey, what's up, guys? Craft Farms here. Welcome back to Tahitian County. So, as you can see, we have thirty-eight thousand dollars at the moment. So, I took out our loan, and all of our new machinery is here. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of our old machinery. But first, we're going to walk through all of our new uh, equipment. So the first thing is our Soaring Eagle uh, drive over. We're going to use that with the uh, versatile auger here. So that way we can, in addition to filling our uh, single axle straight trucks, we can also fill our semi since uh, we're planning on getting fields that are much further away. Uh, here we have the John Deere 616C corn head. Uh, we got this with the chopping knives, and then we've also got some uh, rear work lights here. We got the Honeybee Airflex 240. We uh, put the Crary wind system on it, um, different crop dividers. We got the cross augers on it as well. So we got that, and then uh, if we walk over here, so <clears throat> I put the Bale Spear and our MDS grapple bucket over here. We also picked up a John Deere grapple bucket and a John Deere 843 loader. So we have that and our other loader sitting here as well. Um, in the heated shop, we got our new John Deere 9610 maximizer. We got front duels on that, and then we did the longer auger, uh, the Mauer tank extension on that guy as well. And then in the cold storage, now we have our two uh, grain trucks, our uh, liquid tender truck, and then our semi. Oh, hold on here. Okay, let me through. There we go. Now I can shut. Get that one closed up. Uh, I moved our hay buster grinder over here by our uh, <clears throat> bunker shed. And then we moved stuff around over here. We got the Mandaco roller here. And then we picked up the Anderson RBM 2000 uh, bale trailer. We picked up a how, haw, I don't know. Uh, it's one of the in-game manure spreaders. And then our header trailer, pickup and gooseneck stock trailer. Then we picked up a John Deere 1910 uh, cart. We put duels on it. Uh, we did the upgraded stainless steel tubes. Yellow, or um, I guess we have black hose going to the drill. And then our auger. Then we got the uh, N540 drill behind that. As you can see we got all of our corn stalk bales in here uh, as well. And then in this shed so I moved the Dakota hopper trailer up into here and then we got our swather, our rake. Uh, we picked up a Vermeer 605N uh, wide pickup baler. We got a Parker 6500 uh, grain cart, and then our sprayer. We picked up this guy, a Kinsey 3660 blue drive uh, center fold, or I don't know if you'd call it a center fold, center pivot, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and then we got a J&M, uh, I gotta remember the number on this thing, three, 390 uh, speed tender. And then we got this big dog, uh, New Holland 9882. We got some Michelin duels on it, some weights, um, more weights back here. It's going to be a uh, pig of a workhorse for us. John Deere 8410, uh, we put duels on weights. This is what the uh, John Deere loader is uh, going to go on. Uh, for whenever we need it. We got a quick hitch on it as well. 
and then we moved the uh, 1086 over here. And then we got this guy, John Deere, or wow, John Deere. Alice Chalmers 7080. Uh, this is actually a newly released mod by uh, uh, Julian F. Modding. Very well done. And then we picked up a Vermeer BPX 9010 bale processor as well. So now we should be all set up for uh, everything for next year. And then, so we are getting rid of our Steiger Panther PT350, our little uh, KTP cultivator, our John Deere 455 drill, our International Cyclo 950 or 955, whatever it is, uh, 950. And then we're getting rid of the uh, Chevy was it C70? Yep. Chevy C70 with the Kilbros uh, auger box on it. Our old uh, Gell round baler, our little bale trailer, our 1586, our 4440, our old grain head, our old sunflower head, and our good old John Deere 8820. So let's go ahead. We're going to sell all of this stuff uh, we got 88,000 for that 17,541 for our sunflower header twelve thousand ninety five for our John Deere 230 then we got our 4440, 58,829 for that guy. And then our international 1586, 42,975 for that guy. Probably not going to get much for this guy. $731. Not a whole lot for that thing. But it was a cheap trailer. I think it was only a thousand bucks to buy, anyways. Uh, Thirteen sixty-four for the baler. Uh, for our <clears throat> gravity box, eighty-six thirty-nine, and then eleven seven seventy-three for the truck. Uh, 31288 for our international planner. 45766 for this guy. And now the last piece. 9618 for our cultivator. And then 75592 for that guy. So, we are sitting with $442,000. So, the farmlands that we're going to be picking up is going to be... So, we're getting 113, 102, 103, 110, 111 and then 107 and 108, but we're going to be leasing them. So, we need 102 lease, 103 lease, um, 107, 108, 110, 111, and 113. Now we got to pick up soil maps for all of these.
Perfect. Now we're going to go over here. And we need our yield maps. We're going to go ahead and clear the yield maps. Because we want to start over for that. Okay, nothing there. All right. So our main fields that we owned prior are pretty good on pH. Uh, I know this field's done, but we got to run over those ones. And then our new fields are going to need some lime as well. But we've got that done, and we still have $197,000. Now our next thing is we need to find the animal market. I'm pretty sure there's one on here. Yes, there it is. Okay, straight north of us here. So we are going to go and uh, we're going to pick up our cattle. <clears throat> now, let's see here. I don't remember how many this thing holds. 20 cows. So we'll go and we'll pick up. We'll have to make uh, two trips. We'll pick up 20 cows in the first load, and then the second load will be three cows and two bulls. So I will put together a new work plan as well for next year's farm ground, but uh, that I'll do off camera just because that's such a tedious process um, and I think maybe this fall yet we might do it before the ground freezes oh okay uh, we need to um, we're gonna have to get some waterways plowed so we'll have to lease a plow and get that done so we're just going to back up to this trigger here. All right. So cow, female, Angus. Bye. Of course, auto save is going to kick in on us. Yes. Perfect. So, we'll take this load, and we'll haul these guys to the farm. I'll go across this nice and easy this time. These girls taken home. And then after that, we'll start uh, getting some feed together for them.
Let's get this backed in here. Perfect. Select. Move. Yes. Let's get this door shut so that way they can't uh, come running back out. And then we'll go get our last five that we need. train coming. There it is. If I can do this before the train's gone. There we go. It's a long one, too. There's the end of it. Alright, raise the arms. So we got cows to pick up. Alright, train's gone. Come on, let's go. There we go. I do like the way that this uh, sail barn is set up though on this map. Looks really nice. I haven't really actually looked at it all that much until now. All right, so where are we at here? Cow, female, Angus. So we need three more of these. Pie. Yes, okay, and then we need two of the bulls. All right, well, let's get these back to the farm and then we'll get this trailer unhooked and we'll uh, get to making some feed for them. Alright, get that opened up and get these fellas dropped off. Select, move, select, and move. There we go. Perfect. 
All right, let's go unhook this trailer. Unhook this guy right here. Oh, yeah, my keyboard reconnected. There we go. All right, so we need. We'll grab the Alice. We'll put this on our grinder. See if I can get it backed in here somewhat straight. Set that guy there. And we'll want this. We gotta go get the loader. And we'll grab the bale spike. The bale spear, I guess I should say. Come over here, and we need some bales, please. Let's pull, we don't need 25 at once. We're gonna go four at a time. Let's not dump off that top bale. Not yet, anyways. Oh, and it wants to stay on the edge there. Let's see if we can fix that. Uh, Persuade it in. There we go. 
Alright. Let's bring our HUD up here for a second. And unload here. Betcha. This doesn't register alfalfa hay. I didn't think of that. Yeah. Okay. Well. Then we're going to do things a little bit differently. And what we're going to do. Well, we're gonna, let's see here. Yeah, we're not even gonna need this then if we're just, because with us doing alfalfa hay and whatnot, it's not going to, it's not gonna register it. So, that is useless to us. So, we're gonna bring this back in here, get it hooked up to our processor first. And we'll pull this out here. Okay, we'll shut him down for now. We're going to grab our 84 here. We're going to grab the other loader and then the bucket. So I have the cut bales mod so we'll just move our bales over to uh, let's go ahead and sell the it's under animals. Yep. let's go ahead and sell that there's an extra 15 grand in our pocket Okay, so let's get this guy backed up a little bit here. I'm gonna drop this bill right here. It'll come off to the forks. So all I gotta do is I walk up to the bale and hit C, and there we go. We got a pile of alfalfa. come in here and we'll grab us a scoop and we'll go in here and we'll dump it might not even need those other two bales that we pulled out. Well, actually, with our hay, we might, uh, we might put it in, might fill two bays. Yeah, I didn't really think of that, uh, that that hay buster wouldn't want to register, uh, <clears throat> the alfalfa hay. Wasn't even thinking of that.
let's clean up the last little bit of this pile. Because with my plan of also doing cracked cornmeal in our feed, I want to use our bigger bay for that. Because that I want to stockpile. Because that we don't just have sitting around like. do hay and stuff so that we actually have to buy Actually, I think we should do four bales of corn stalks, now thinking of it. Because we're going to do more corn stalk in our mix than... Uh, yeah, let's bring out four corn stalk bales. We'll shove those other two uh, hay bales back in. So, we're going to want, let's do two straw bales. straw bales for our feed wagon. Or for our, not our feed wagon, but our uh, um, whatchamacallit, if I can think of the name now. For our oh, too much, too much, too much. straw blower. There we go. Now we got four corn stalk bales sitting here. Or two corn stalk bales, I'm sorry. I'm too focused on everything else. Now for our cracked corn, 
We are going to have to put down a buy all silo. Because I'll have to buy it by the truckload. I don't know where I want to put the buy all silo. I don't want to put it in the yard. I want to actually drive to go get it. But I don't own anything in town and definitely don't want to buy it just for that. So, we might have to put it on like one of the properties that we bought or something. Or one of our lease leased properties. And yeah, doing it this way isn't so bad. Just would have been neater to have the uh tub grinder actually work with it. And I have no idea, folks, of how long this episode's gonna go. However long it takes us to prep everything and get some feed made and uh, get some to our cows. So, probably gonna be a longer video for you guys today. Get worth maybe. Could probably fit another bale worth in that bay, but I don't want to pack it too terribly full. Alright, let's take this guy over. And we'll grab two more. We'll lay out those uh, other bales there. This way, so we can kind of keep our pile a little more contained this time.
let's cut that one open. Alright, let's go move these two uh, straw bales quick. out so we can pick both of them up with our uh, processor there. We gotta flip them. It's the only thing that I don't like about these bale sheds is that it sets the bales on end like that. It's kind of annoying, but I guess there's not really much a guy can do about it. Except flip the bales like this, so I guess that's what we'll do. I think two straw bales will be good for now. I don't know how fast they're gonna end up going through it so we'll put more in as we need them which really the main thing that the straw does even is contribute towards manure so I mean I guess it does affect the uh productivity a little bit, but I don't think it's quite that much. Alright, we're going to drop the spear. We're going to leave the loader on, because once we're done, um, dumping everything in, we're going to probably use that deer bucket. Well, we can even just throw this on here, I guess doesn't really matter which tractor it's on does the same job okay so I gotta turn that off on this guy also I want to use this smaller bucket for filling our uh, feed wagon That way it's a little easier to uh, create our mix. We'll use this bucket though loading our uh, cracked corn. grapple bucket is definitely not the best thing for uh, dumping in there but it works I guess in a real life situation you wouldn't want to that much is for sure This bucket will definitely be the nicer one, too, for uh, loading out manure. Be able to take bigger scoops. We got a 
mess going now. Oh, we'll get it cleaned up. Shouldn't, you know, we don't have a whole lot left, so. Not much left at all. This last little bit scooped up. Last bit here now. There we go. Alright, and then we're going to leave this tractor here because we're going to use this to... Because when we come with the... Uh, so we're going to use the straight trucks. I missed a little bit there, I guess. But I'm going to use the straight trucks to go get the cracked corn. And uh, they're not going to be able to pile it in there very well. So we'll have to use this to push it in. Oh, we're already at 49 minutes. Okay, well, uh, we're going to call it a video. And uh, next video, we will start feeding. Uh, and we'll get our cracked corn. I'll figure out somewhere to put that. And uh, do it that way. See, I don't want to make this too long, so... Thanks everybody for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you have not done so already. And be sure to turn on the post notifications if you haven't already. Then uh, you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And uh, as always, we'll catch you on the next one.